has it been a morning hi everybody welcome back to benny's channel i know you don't normally see me in the beginning of the video unless i'm trying to explain something um it's exactly what i'm going to do uh i will benny will be in the video soon i'm just gonna quick do a rundown of what is happening with him and uh just explain the situation it's nothing big as some of you know who follow benny on instagram i've been posting a lot of things talking about how itchy his skin has been and not being able to figure it out. Some of you may know in November we went to Wisconsin for a wedding and we boarded Benny. On the last day of his boarding, um, he got groomed professionally for the first time ever in his entire life. And I'm sorry if I look like this, I literally, we woke up and I had to go and deal with all this situation right now. Um, but yeah, when he got back from the boarding place, uh, he was very itchy and he's normally an itchy guy. He itches himself when he is anxious or excited. He'll usually scratch around like his neck and his ears. He's done that his entire life. He just was super, super itchy. Caused it, giving himself a ton of hot spots all on his legs and his butt area. For about three weeks, well, of course, when, it, when we got him, I thought, oh my God, he's got fleas. I was constantly checking him on his skin. I wasn't seeing anything. I wasn't seeing any signs of fleas. The only sign was that he was itchy. Still nothing. He didn't have anything for flea and ticks. Uh, we normally give him a flea and tick collar. He had one a while ago, but it kind of like, you just change every six months and I hadn't. Uh, I don't really like, I don't really trust the oral or the drops on the back. I've heard so many horror stories about that and he already has sensitive skin that I don't think he would react to it very well. I didn't really think about that when he went to the boarding place, but when we got him back, I wasn't seeing anything, so we did order him another flea collar. He put that on him. After about three weeks of this going on, I finally took him to the vet, and they checked his skin, everything. They didn't see anything wrong with him. They said his stomach and, like, he had been shaved down in his private areas and around his tail from that really bad hot spot that he had, so you could see his skin perfectly and they didn't notice anything, they, his skin wasn't even red. So they gave us an antibiotic for the hot spots to help it heal faster, and they gave us a steroid, which I think is called pronounced um, prednisone. They said that that would make him very hungry and thirsty and urinate a lot. So we started giving him that. He went crazy, like savage, like trying to eat our shoes, trying to eat the Christmas tree, trying to lick the water off the ground because he was so thirsty. So they told us to cut it out for a little bit and to bring the dose down and the itching just got worse. He has tons of little hot spots, scabs all over him. This is why it all started. This morning, he was in our bed laying with us and I was rubbing his belly and I went a little, you know, farther down and I felt a bump like near his private areas. Of course, I freak out thinking like, oh my God, cancer or something, <laughs> being a crazy dog mom. And so I went to go take a look at it while Christian was petting him because he doesn't like us going in that area. Um, I'd assume it hurt. It looked like he had like scabs on like the inside of his legs. Um, he finally let me look at it. I'm looking at the bump and I see a little bug go crawling across his skin. And then I see another little bug going and crawling across his skin. And I'm like, oh my God, Christian. So Christian comes and looks and he sees a bug crawling. I think we saw about four bugs in that time period. Of course, I flipped out got him off the bed, I put him in the bathtub, I rinsed him down, I put sh sh uh, sh his shampoo on him, because I said I read that warm water and shampoo can help kill it. Of course, it's not gonna kill it forever if they're still in our house, and they've been in our house for what, two months now? So this was probably around nine o'clock in the morning. I go and throw my hair up, um, I get dressed, I run to the store, and I go and buy. So I went and bought this. There were so many options, and no, I did not buy it because of Bern the Bernice Mountain Dog. The Frontline stuff also had a Bernice Mountain Dog on it. Apparently, you guys get lots of fleas, because why else would you be on every single flea and tick thing? Um, I bought this one because it was the only one that had this chewing lice on it, and I searched up chewing lice, and oh my God, that freaked me out. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well kill that too if he has it. Bought this um, to spray all over the carpets and the furniture off him. It might still be in the house and could come back. Bought this obviously to clean everything. And then a nice candle to help calm me. And we're about to deep clean this whole apartment. And I thought I'd take you guys with me on this journey. Um, I can't put the stuff on him yet because he's still wet from his bath. So I'm just gonna clean up everything and then spray everything down and then I will record um, 
putting the stuff on his back. Hopefully he doesn't have a reaction to it. All right, first things first, we need to clean. Um, this is all from, we were on a business trip for Christian and we just got back. We also went scuba diving while we were on a business trip. It was down in South Florida, so we kind of just went down to the Keys. So I gotta clean up all this, clean all these blankies, spray down, vacuum, carpet wash, and spray down this. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then clean our bedding and everything. You ready, buddy? Look how skinny he looks when he's been washed. Yeah, you're a flea bag. The heck, man? Why are you getting fleas? What are we gonna do with you? Now I have to clean it up. What are you going to do? You're just gonna watch. Got my coffee because I'm gonna need all the energy to do all this today. Uh, are you even gonna help me? The buddies is out here. So you're not breathing on all breathing in all this stuff. You stay out there. Okay, I just brushed him. Now he feels super soft. And he's dry, so now we gotta apply the flea medicine. stuff everywhere put the medicine on him I've got a diffuser going because I said or I read that like certain essential oils can help get rid of fleas I don't know I'm trying everything now I'm just gonna vacuum up my like bedroom carpet I'm cleaning all my bedding I mean you can hear the robot vacuum working hard but hopefully this helps I will keep you guys updated I'll probably update more on his Instagram so if you're not following him on Instagram I believe it's Benny burner 19 if you want to follow him there, I'll update stories there more often. And if something big happens, I'll post it on YouTube. That's what's going on right now. I was going to post a fun video this week of, I saw on Super Cooper, they got a book called like 97 Ways to Make Your Dog Smile. I ordered the book, it uh, comes today and I was gonna record the video on Monday. I'll post that video next week. So yeah, sorry this video is a little different. Sorry, I'm in it a little more. I know I get a lot of comments about, we want to see the dog, not you. Uh, I felt like I needed to explain some things first. And I know there are a lot of uh, hardcore Benny fans that like to know this stuff. Um, but yeah, sorry this video is different. Next week it'll be, I think, a really fun video. I think he'll really enjoy it. Right? Sorry, you've had a tough morning, buddy. But you're so soft. Look how skinny you're looking. He is uh, 95 pounds now. Um, the vet told us to keep him under 100. He was at like 102 and they said that was overweight. So now he is 95, looking good. We want him smaller. We don't want him on the bit like overweight. We want him on the smaller side because it will, if they're like overweight, it'll affect their joints and their hips and burners are prone to hip dysplasia. So 
I did trim his ears up a bit too. I don't know if you can tell because his ears are down. He's a little upset. He's had a tough morning. All right, well, thank you guys for joining. Please hit that uh, like button. And if you have, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next week. Hey, but there's no more treats up there. Can you say bye to everybody? <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>